What happens when you weld or solder gold filled? I often get asked, can you weld gold filled? You can certainly solder it and it's a little bit trickier. You need lower heat, more flux, more solder. But what happens with welding? First, I'm going to explain to you what gold filled is. The difference between gold plated sterling silver and gold filled. Basically, gold plating, it, you can have a casted item plated over with gold, whereas gold filled, it is a sheet of solid gold with a core sheet of brass and then another solid sheet of gold and it is rolled and bonded. As a result, it is far more expensive for gold filled than it is for sterling silver plated with gold, even if it is gold verme, which means that it has two microns of gold plated. With gold filled, there is, there must be at least 5% solid gold in the process. So the other telltale sign is that with the sheet, you, what you get as a result is either a sheet or made thin would be a wire. And so it limits you as to the kind of designs that you can have. For instance, this is a stamping and this is a heavier sheet, a stamping bar, and you'll never get with gold filled anything that is casted. And I know a number of suppliers out there use the terms interchangeably, saying that their sterling silver plated is gold filled, and that's just wrong. You'll never get, in this case, you'll get thicker and thinner pieces in certain areas, and that is a good telltale sign that it is gold plated. The other thing is gold plating could be anything underneath, in, in this case, sterling silver. Italians use sterling silver chains. They make sterling silver chains and they plate it. Whereas in gold filled, it is also stamped one over 20, that's one fifth solid gold, and then the 14K. The major difference is how long it lasts for. Even with excellent plating process and good quality like this Italian sterling silver chain that's been plated, over time it will oxidize. And there's nothing you can do other than to replate. And it does tarnish quickly compared to with gold filled, it acts as though as a solid piece. This is because there's at least a hundred times the amount of gold and gold filled as in any gold plated process. There's a big difference between welding and soldering. Welding, you don't need solder and it's a spot. Whereas what, soldering, you need to heat up the area around the joint. In order for the solder to melt and the metal to be heated enough so that the flux and the solder spreads. Problem with that is though, sometimes that you have the mechanism underneath heated so much that the spring doesn't work anymore. So it's very tricky, not undoable. Um, so the great thing about welding is that it's spot and it can be really small. So I'm gonna show you what happens. First, I make sure that the ring is closed like this. And then I apply the ground. I'm gonna focus, I don't know if you can see. All right, so then I'm going to show you, I am going to put in five watts. That's all you need for tiny jump rings like that. Refocus, all right. And now. So here you see that 
it is somewhat melted like here but there is a tiny just a tiny dot of it now you can't really tell because there's fire scale so I'm going to use my eraser to remove this fire scale for you to see let me just use a pair of pliers to hold on to that And anything that rubs off and I would not just be gentle with it and don't use anything really abrasive and, and go crazy with it I've erased the fire scale I'm gonna take a photo and here is a close-up photo of that jump ring which is 3 mm and that tiny dot is the weld mark and it could be exposed brass core and you wonder what is going to happen to that over time. And I'm going to show you. So this is the 14 karat gold filled bracelet that I had welded on my daughter five weeks back. And she has gone swimming in the pool with it. There's sunblock and she's been sweaty playing outdoors. It's lasted. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I'm not sure if you can see the tiny dot on that jump ring. It's barely noticeable, but you can still see. I'm going to do a close up to see if you can see the tiny dot. It's barely noticeable, and I think in part because I used 5 watts power, and so it's tiny, tiny. However, if it bothers you that there is a dot of black, then I would suggest you use solid gold jump rings instead. It's just a matter of preference. And for me personally, I've used gold filled jump rings for all of my own welding. And I carry both solid and gold filled as well as sterling silver jump rings and chains. And I'm going to leave a link below as to how you can purchase chains, those components wholesale, as well as more information on the micro welder that I've used.